Today we will embark on a fascinating genetic journey that will bring to life one of the most intriguing combinations in the poultry world, the cross between the raw island re rooster and the brown hen. Imagine for a moment the majestic raw island re, a bird of imposing stature with its intense red plumage and its gaze full of vigor. A rooster that embodies strength and endurance. A guardian of the hen house with a dual purpose legacy of abundant eggs and quality meat. Now visualize the Isab Brown. A hybrid bloodline hen, an egg laying machine, docile. A true jewel of modern viticulture. What happens when these two worlds meet? What secret do their offspring hold? What genetic wonders unfold before our eyes? Brace yourselves for a journey full of surprises, where science and nature intertwine to create a spectacle of unique colors and characteristics. In this video we will unravel the mysteries of this cross. We will explore the color palettes that adorn chicks. From the creamy yellow with faint stripes to the deep reddish brown of adult roosters and the uniform brown of hens. We will discover how genetics play a role, how dominant and recessive genes are expressed in each feather, in each egg, at each stage of their development. But we will not stop there. We will go beyond appearance. We will explore the behavior and temperament of these hybrids, their resistance to diseases, their egg production capacity and their longevity. We will discover how this cross can be an ideal combination for family and sustainable farms, where the balance between hardiness and productivity is valued. And for those passionate creators, we will share tips and recommendations to maximize the potential of this cross, from feeding to management, from breeder selection to chick sexing. Let's get to know each of the varieties that we will use to make the crosses. Let's start with the high egg laying line Isa Brown. The Isa Brown is a hybrid hen created by the Isa company in 1978. It was developed specifically for intensive egg production, combining the best characteristics of several breeds. Its development involved complex genetic crosses, including breeds such as the Raw Island Re and the Raw Island White, although genes from other layer breeds were also introduced through crosses, such as the Legger, the Isa Brown, known for its high egg production, with an average of 300 to 350 eggs per year, under optimal and intensive conditions. This line has a very low maternal instinct, almost non-existent, this means that it does not usually incubate its own eggs. This is a desirable characteristic in commercial egg production, as it allows the hens to concentrate solely on laying eggs. The eggs of the Isa Brown are large to extra large in size. The average weight of an egg is approximately 62 to 65 grams. The maximum egg production of the Isa Brown occurs during its first year of laying. Then production gradually decreases from the second year onwards. These hens reach sexual maturity and start laying eggs very early, between 18 and 22 weeks of age. They are docile and easy to handle birds. They adapt well to different climatic conditions and management systems. They have excellent feed conversion, which means they produce many eggs with little feed, and they are very resistant to diseases. Now let's get to know the characteristics of one of my favorite breeds, the Raw Island Rhinaria from the United States, recognized for its versatility in both egg and meat production. This breed is considered a good layer, with a production of between 200 and 250 eggs per year. It has a moderate maternal instinct. Some hens can incubate their eggs, but these qualities are very rare in this breed. The eggs are brown in color, medium to large in size. The average egg weight is between 55 and 60 grams. 
Regarding physical characteristics, the plumage of the raw island rhinaria is dark and shiny. The temperament is active and sociable, although the roosters can be a bit territorial. They are valued for both their egg and meat production. They are very hardy birds and reach sexual maturity between 24 and 26 weeks. Let's look at the result of the cross between a raw island red rooster and an Isra hen. It results in chicks with characteristics influenced by the genetics of both breeds, obviously, but let's be more specific. A Z from the raw island red father and another chromosome, Z from the mother and saber. The rock island red R is a mozygote for the goldwing, which would be that one, but in this case it would carry two S's, since the male chick has two chromosomes. The gold wing is like a light yellow, more or less gold in color, to give you an idea. On the other hand, the Izab has two chromosomes which would be the Z and W like any other hen. The Z, the saber also has a gold wing, which is that one, since it descends from the raw island Re in the original cross. So, the males resulting from this cross between the raw island Re and the brown will be SS, exactly the same as the raw island Re, which will show the typical dark red of the father, but attenuated by maternal dilution genes from the Izabu, which we will see later. Pay close attention to this part. The sewing of this cross, which will have the ZW chromosomes, as I said before, inherit the Z from the raw island R father and the W from the Izabu mother. These chicks will only express the color linked to the paternal Z, which is red or gold, as it is also called, but diluted by autosomal genes from the Izabu. In this cross, these autosomal genes that we named both with the son and the daughter are responsible for diluting the red color inherited from the R Island red father. In other words, they are those that modify the expression of the pigmentation in the feathers. In the case of the Izabu mother, who is the one who transmits these autosomal genes, this dominant autosomal buff gene turns the intense red into a lighter tone, like gold or beige. Since the isobins have at least one copy of this dominant gene, you see? The daughters will also inherit this gene, diluting the golf red of the Z chromosome, contributed by the father. The browns usually carry this illusion gene in a recessive way, inherited from their mother, the raw island white, which turns the intense red into a light brown. This explains why the chicks will be a lighter tone than the raw island re, but darker than the Isabo. Now that we know the genetic part, which is not so easy to understand, especially for those who have very little experience with crossbreeding, let's look at the visual aspect. In newborn chicks, the base color of the chicks at birth is cream yellow. To give you an idea of this color, I'm sharing these yellow color palettes. In addition to this color, they are accompanied by faint dark stripes, especially on the back, inherited from the raw island red. Here I also show you the raw island red chicks and we are going to visually compare them with the chicks of the Issa Brown Cross. You can see the dark stripes between both lines and also the difference in color in general in the entire body of the raw island rex chicks and the chicks of the cross. Although they are not sexable exactly by the color at birth, the sex of the chicks can be differentiated by the following. The males will have slightly more marked and darker stripes of an intense brown color, as seen in the image. The females will have a more uniform and lighter color. As adults, the plumage of the males will be reddish-brown with black feathers on the tail and wings. Inherited from the raw island R with a contrast between the light chest and the dark back, as adults, the females will have a more uniform color, similar to the brown, but with a darker tone due to the raw island rex. At least 5 out of every 50 chicks will be born with a different color pattern. Why is that? 
genetic variability. Let's remember that commercial incivibrids come from the cross between raw island wren and raw island white, which introduce genes such as silver, which is the white that Abraham inherited from his mother, the R island white, which increases the diversity in the chicks by a small percentage. Some chicks may show atypical spots such as white spots or lighter tones or different plumage colors as adults. What would that be? The real purpose of this cross between the Isa Brown and the Raw Island Re would be to have chickens with greater resistance to diseases, since they inherit the robustness of the Raw Island R and they will also be more adaptable to variable climates. They will be less prone to stress problems than the Isabo. In general, these commercial hybrids tend to be more delicate in extreme environments. In terms of egg production, hybrid broods will lay brown eggs, similar to both parents, with an estimated 250 to 280 eggs per year, slightly less than the brown, which easily lays over 300 eggs per year, but more than the R Island R, which lays between 200 to 250 eggs maximum per year. A noticeable improvement in terms of egg production per hen. The productive lifespan of the daughters of this cross would be 3 to 5 years, which is a balance between the shorter lifespan of the Isa Brown and the greater productive longevity of the Raw Island R in terms of the behavior and temperament of the sons. The hybrid roosters of this cross will be more territorial than a pure Raw Island Red due to the genetic influence of the Isabora, which has traits from more active breeds such as the Ro Island White, and genes that they also have from the Lego. Knowing that Lego are very active and nervous breeds, these roosters are usually very good in terms of their qualities to watch the hens from predators and also to improve the laying characteristics of the native hens. As for the hybrid hens of this cross, they will be less nervous than the Isabo, but more active than the Raw Island Reapera. The most important thing is that they will be excellent foragers ideal for free-range systems. It is important to note that the hybrid hens resulting from this cross will eliminate the white feathers characteristic of the Isa Brown. Sexual Maturity The resulting hybrid tends to reach sexual maturity a little earlier than the R Island Red Pura, generally between 20 and 22 weeks. This is an intermediate point taking advantage of the precocity of the isobidity of the raw island wreck, weight of the rooster, the hen resulting from this cross and the comparison with its parents. The weight of the rooster ranges between 3.5 to 4.2 kg. This makes it slightly heavier than raw island repuros and significantly heavier than the roosters which are usually lighter. The weight of the hen is between 2.8 to 3.5 kg. This places it in an intermediate trait, being heavier than the is and slightly heavier than the raw island are these offspring resulting from the cross tend to be more robust, inheriting the size and bone structure of the raw island re, but with a possible influence of the feed efficiency of the insabar in a faster and more efficient growth. The reason why the hybrids resulting from the cross between the Raw Island R and the Isabo tend to be heavier than their parent breeds is mainly due to a genetic phenomenon known as heterosis or hybrid vigor, which we are all familiar with. The incubation instinct in the hens of this cross is generally low. Although they inherit some of the maternal instinct of the Rice Island wreck, the influence of the Isa, which has a very reduced maternal instinct, tends to prevail. Hybrid hens are therefore unlikely to display a strong desire to incubate their eggs. Fellow breeders, we have reached the end of this fascinating video where genetics and passion come together to reveal the secrets of the cross between the majestic R Island R and the prestigious Isabo. Together we have explored the color palette that adorns their offspring, 
from the soft cream yellow of newborn chicks to the intense reddish brown of adult roosters and the uniform brown color of hens. We have unraveled the mysteries of heredity, discovering how dominant and recessive genes are expressed in each feather, in each egg, at each step of its development. But beyond appearances, we have discovered the robustness and adaptability of the raw island R, its moderate maternal instinct and its dual-purpose legacy. We have appreciated the efficiency and nobility of the Isabeau, its high egg production and its ability to thrive in diverse environments. And by uniting these two worlds, we have witnessed the birth of a new generation of hybrid birds that combines the best of both parents, the resistance to the vigor of the raw island wren with the productivity and docility of the Isabeau. This cross, my friends, is much more than the simple union of two breeds. It is the expression of life itself in its constant evolution and adaptation. It is the result of the passion and dedication of breeders who seek the best of both worlds, who strive to create stronger, more productive and adaptable birds. It is the story of genetics at the service of poultry farming, a legacy that is passed down from generation to generation. A legacy that invites us to reflect on the beauty and complexity of animal life. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you have enjoyed this experience as much as we have enjoyed sharing it with you. And remember, poultry farming is much more than raising birds, it is cultivating a passion, a love for life in all its forms. To your success, my creative friend. Until next time.